Hello again and you're very welcome to Fashion and Lifestyle. I'm Angie Sutherland and we're delighted to be bringing you another exclusive on Fashion and Lifestyle. We're here today in Dublin and we're delighted to be joined by Master Tailor Louis Copeland. Thanks for joining us Louis. Pleasure, thank you. So tell us a little bit, how did you get into the uh, the tailoring business? Uh, well, my father started the business uh, in back in the 50s uh, and I went to technical school for tailoring and textiles and kind of fell into the business. I went to work in a, in a, a workshop myself and then kind of fell in, came in here and worked in, in the workshop and worked from there. Great. And of course now you've got how many shops? We have about seven shops now, so s- spread around Dublin and one in Galway. And uh, your son is involved in the business as well. Yeah, my son uh, Louis and his his he has a son called what do you call it Louis. So it's kind of a few Louis now, and he's kind of he runs the Gant shop in Dundrum and the Louis Copeland shop in Dundrum. Okay, so tell us then a little bit, Louis, from scratch. How do you create a suit? Well, m- most of our suits now would be off the peg now, so we would kind of buy in the different brands and things like that but we do kind of make our own suits as well I mean, so uh, so we kind of when we're getting them made a, 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 on the continent we would kind of source the fabric we would source the styles we would go to the, the go to the factories and discuss kind of fits and to suit the Irish market and uh, from that we create suits Okay, and I see that you've got some nice famous people here on your photographs. Who have you dressed? Uh, we've dressed a few people, I suppose. Um, Pierce Bosnan has one. I think he, he probably is probably the icon of clothes. Uh, you know, I mean, if you look around the few photographs, but I have to say, probably the most important people are the you know the ordinary punt of that customer that comes in. They're the ones we we like to look after because they're they're our bread and butter. And of course, you uh, you love the, the pinstripe, and I, I wore it especially for you today. <laughs> I, I've noticed that, and I'm, I'm glad to see you, you, you wearing the stripes. Uh, I, stripes sometimes, yes. Yeah, I like planes, and obviously the uh, Irish uh, consumer, Irish kind of complexion is probably more geared toward darker clothes because, you know, in Ireland we don't have the, the lovely weather that they have in, in the continent. So I think dark clothes suit Irish men a bit better. Okay, and what about fabrics? What do you like? Uh, fabrics, uh, what do I like about fabrics? I like uh, f- substantial fabrics that I'm going to wear because when somebody gets a suit, they want something that's going to, if they're wearing for work, they want something that's going to hold up and going to kind of hold, the, hold the shape. So that's important. Uh, obviously, uh, pure wool fabrics. Okay. And do different seasons have different styles or is a suit a suit? Uh, a suit is a suit, we think, but but every every season, you know, there's little changes that the, the eye can't really, you know, the ordinary eye can't see. But, I mean, you know, it, it goes out, you know, some season goes out, trousers get wider, and then they come back in. And the, gradually, all the time, it's, it's, it's evolving all the time. What's your take on the three-piece suit? I love the three-piece suit on a man. Do you? Okay, well, I think it's very, it, like, I mean, a three-piece suit looks fantastic. Uh, doesn't always work when you're in work because you, you can get a bit tied up. But I mean, I think for weddings it's very popular now. I mean, especially on the continent, people go and say to Spain or Italy, and they can wear the suit, and then when when they can finish, they can take the jacket off, and they still look cool. Mm-hmm. So dressy, isn't it? It really sort of finishes off the outfit. I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and uh, a lot of Irish people now are wearing three pieces now, especially so for weddings. So I suppose this is your signature shop here in Capel Street, and it's lovely. I love the all the, the wood and the panelling and everything. How long has this shop been here? Uh, well, we're, we've been in Capel Street for the last fifty well, since the, since the nineteen sixties. My father, I mean, lived in Capel Street, and he had his workshop here. And uh, we were we moved up to this shop from the old shop, which is down the road. This was the AIB Bank. And we bought the bank over, so it was nice to pay the bank over. <laughs> Although it was back then. Could you do any of it now? I, well, I think you might be able to buy a bank <laughs> easy enough now, yeah. And then tell us a little bit, you've got the other shops you mentioned, you have one in Galway as well? We have one in Galway, uh, it's working very well. We've got the Gant shop in Dundrum. We have the one in CHQ, which is down the IFSC. And we have the one in Pembroke Street and one in Wickler Street. Right, okay. That's brilliant. I, I think maybe we'll just have a quick look at some of, of the stock that you have and maybe you can talk us through some of it. Yeah, okay. Great. We have John now, a member of the staff here at Louis Copeland, modelling this gorgeous jacket. So maybe, Louis, you'll talk us a little bit through it. Yeah, okay. Well, this is a, a handmade suit. Uh, it's one of our own that we designed. Uh, the, the fabric is from Barbaris from uh, Italy. 
if you can see the way the lapel rolls, that it's it's padded underneath there, and that's why it rolls like it's a difference between a, a a kind of a handmade suit and a factory made suit. Um, the little things that make it just that nice. The if you look if you look at it here, the canvas you can pull the cloth away from the canvas, which means it's not fused. Most a lot of the cheaper suits would be that part would be glued onto the okay. interlining, right? So, okay. but this is made the old-fashioned way. Um, so does it last longer then? Well, not that it lasts longer, but you know, y y you know, you have a good suit on you when you when you're wearing it, okay. and that's the difference between a, a, a handmade suit and a and a, a fused suit. Okay. So the, the little small things. If you look at the back there, it's all done by hand there. So as as the tailors are sewing that, they're twisting it over the knee, and that's why if you look at the neck there, the way it sits in there, okay. and it it never come away from his neck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the panels are medium width, and you, you notice with it's slightly shorter in the jacket, mm -hmm. which is a little more fashionable. And what colour would you call that? I'd call that a kind of a, what we call a Kennedy blue. Kennedy so blue. JFK, uh, you always remember him in his blue suit, and we'd always use that as a, a selling line. Uh, is J we call it JFK blue. Lovely. Thank you, John. No problem. Okay. So, Lou, tell us a little bit about this suit. Well, this is a, a typically made-to-measure suit for a wedding day. So, you can see it's a three-piece suit. You can see the waistcoat there with a nice little fine lapel on it. Uh, mother of pearl buttons. Now, if you can zoom in on the lining there, uh, it's it's kind of little wedding messages on the inside of it, right? Okay. okay. And then sometimes people would get embroidery done on the back, underneath the collar, say their initials and the date of the wedding. So these little things kind it's of very custom made. Yeah, it, it, these little things kind of help when you know when you're looking back in the suit, and it's something that they keep forever, okay. and they can look back in it, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the suit is is very fine mohair, very lightweight. This is probably for what people would use if they were say in Spain or Italy, mm -hmm. so uh, very light. Mm -hmm. And then they take the jacket off, and they just they still have a, a garment, you know, uh, uh, albeit not a suit, but. They have a waistcoat, which is kind of dressy with the lapel on it. Absolutely, the, the waistcoat still makes it yeah. informal, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So this is typical. Of it. You see the ivory coloured tie and the mm -hmm. creamy shirt. And then the handkerchief is that embroidered as well? No, no, the, no, no. Well, it is actually. Is it, it's 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 actually part of the pocket. Okay. So pull it up there like that. Fabulous. Yeah. Looks great. So, so what colour would you call this, then, Louis? I'd kind of a nice bl ice blue. Ice blue. Ice blue. Yeah. Yeah. And how long would it take to sort of make up something well, like this? Somebody come in for a suit made to measure. It would take about six weeks. About six weeks. And it would cost around about nine hundred. And would a lot of men go for this colour if they were getting married in Ireland? Yeah, if they, if they were getting, even if they get married in Ireland, they'd still go for a brighter colour. Mm. So, but I mean, it's not necessarily something they'd wear for work. Mm -hmm. You know, they're being optimistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Louis. Okay. I'm talking now with Richard Flanagan from Bommler. Richard, what's your involvement with Louis Copeland? Uh, we supply um, suits, um, special construction, high-end luxury product to the to the Copeland Group. Okay. Do you have some examples you want to show us? Yeah. This is three of the garments that we supply into into Copeland's. Um, as I say, they're top-end luxury fabrics, luxury construction, half canvas uh, chest piece, which um, is an Italian construction, which is specific and unique to the Copeland Group. A uh, piece of canvas that's in the front of the jacket gives it more body, more structure. Uh, workable buttonholes, which is a feature of a, a bespoke suit. Um, Scandinavian shoulder line, which is a kind of a more sloped, um, s uh, more luxury uh, garment. Um, AMS stitching all around the garment. This is the fine stitching, the kind of tailoring stitching you see on the edge of the lapels, mm -hmm. on the edge of the sleeve. Um, and it's just all around a, a more sophisticated product than... So, Louis, we're here in your fantastic new shop, shop out in Dundrum. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, we're open, Patrick's Day was when we opened, it was about six weeks ago, um, it's going very well, um, obviously Dundrum is a great, it's probably the best uh, shopping centre in the country, and will be, for, I think for the next 20 years, so we're delighted to be here and, and to be a part of the centre. And is that why you picked Dundrum as a location for the new shop? Yeah, I mean, Dundrum is, is the ultimate in, in, in shopping outside of town, obviously we're in town as well, but if you wanted to pick a, a, a place to sell, Dundrum is the best place to sell. Okay, and speaking of selling, do you sell online? We do. We have a website and we sell quite successfully on, online and uh, it's louiscopeland.com. Great. And tell us, Louis, I mean, this has been a brave move to actually open a shop in these recessionary times. 
Yeah, I mean, in, in these times, like, you know, this is probably the best time to open a shop. It's when things are kind of, you know, down there so you can get good deals, you can talk to landlords, you can talk to your suppliers, you know, and, you know, if you, if you know your job well, you should be able to kind of make a successful business out of it. And how many staff do you have here? In this shop here, we have about 10, 11 sh- sh- staff. And how many staff do you have all together? Uh, never really count them, but I'm saying they're about 60 or 70. Or, or 60 or 70, that. that's yeah. brilliant in this yeah. day and age yeah. to be able to employ all those. And I have to say, like, I mean, you know, people say, what about people changing staff? They, they don't normally change. The, the only way they change is go out in a box. <laughs> so you must be a very good employer then, Louis, when nobody leaves. No, they, 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 as I say, the only way they go is in the box. And fashion shows, Louis, do you do many of them? Do you show at many? Uh, we do. We get asked to, to do a lot of fashion shows and we try to, to uh, kind of, you know, do the best shows that's out there. Obviously, you can't show in every fashion show, but, you know, the ones that are important, we show. Do you have any coming up that you want to tell us about? Uh, not, on the, uh, not on the horizon at the moment, but, you know, it comes from time to time. Keep an eye on the website. Keep an eye on the website. Great. So that's www.louiscopeland.com. So, Louis, we're here in the middle of the lovely new shop in Dundrum. Very airy, very bright. Yeah, it's nicely done, isn't it? Um, we kind of, it's very contemporary, uh, with a bit of old-fashioned touches. With some of the photographs around the place, and you might see the radio there. And the, in, and not, the old trunks. Oh, the old trunks. It reminds you of um, the, the, the cruises when you brought the trunks on the, on the ship, the yeah. Titanic. Yeah, can you imagine carrying those? They were so heavy. Yeah, unbelievable. So you would have put a lot of clothes in as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. So I know you've got a few things up and coming. Yeah, we have a few things uh, up our sleeve. Uh, I can't say yet, but it's it's for young people, and hopefully in a couple months' time we'll be able to reveal it. Okay, so watch and the website. For, and you'll be first to know. Oh. And watch the website. <laughs> a fashion and lifestyle exclusive by Louis. Thank you very much. So again, it's louiscopeland.com. Thanks, Louis. A pleasure. I'm talking now to Paul Butler, who's one of the suppliers here to Louis Copeland. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Thank you. So I know you've got uh, some suits here that you want to talk us through. Yeah, um, we do a lot of suits with, uh, with Louis Copeland. Louis Copeland only wants the best in his stores. So on this particular suit, we only use 100% virgin wool, which means it's, it's never been used for anything else before. A lot of tailoring, you could say wool suits, but wool can mean it, it could have been a jumper beforehand in a past life. When it has to say virgin wool, well then it's, uh, it's, never, been used. it's never been used before. Okay. So. And again, the colours for next season, again, typical for the wedding suits, again, is your blue colours, which is a big, big for next, for this. So this would be a typical wedding suit? Typical, very typical, yeah. Um, and again, also hard wearing for a good work suit too. Yeah. And what colour would you call this ball? Well, it's, uh, it's like a tonic, a tonic blue is what we would call it. A lot of variations of blues, you can, I can bamboozle you with colours, but uh, again, we go on colour codes, so okay. yeah. I like the colour of this one. This is a nice light colour. This is nice light colour for the spring. Um, again, very typical for, uh, for the wedding suits. Again, a little bit more detail with the inner lining, split linings, mm-hmm. um, and also a little ticket pocket detail, so just a little bit more better. So tell us a little bit about the split linings. Uh, well, a split lining it just means it's two-tone, basically. It just livens up the inside of the jacket. Okay. A lot of guys want a little bit more detail going on, whereas before, it used to be quite boring. It used to be just plain black or, or blue or navy or something like that. Okay, but so it's just a colour thing on the yeah, inside? Thing, basically, yeah. And then it goes into the button detail. Um, again, a lot more buttons. Just small touch details. Small, small details. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for from this very special feature of fashion and lifestyle. And don't forget that we're going out online, on the web, in over 200 countries worldwide. We've just gone over a million views on YouTube. And don't forget to join us again next week on Fashion and Lifestyle. And I'm Angie Sutherland. Good night.